Greetings and welcome to Living Supernaturally. Thank you so much for giving us this opportunity to come your way and minister God's word and spend this few moments in prayer as well. This week we'll be talking about reconciliation and how you and I have been reconciled unto God. Matthew chapter 5 verse 23 to 24. Therefore, if you are offering your gift at the altar and there remember that your brother or sister has something against you, leave your gift there in front of the altar, first go and be reconciled to them, then come and offer your gift. Reconciliation is the process of ransoming man from his state of sin and spiritual darkness and restoring him to a place of harmony and unity with God. But what does it mean to be reconciled to God? Man who was once carnal, evil, who lived in the manner of the flesh, becomes a new creature. He is born again. He is alive in Christ. When Jesus was asked, which is the greatest commandment? He quoted Deuteronomy chapter 6 and verse 5, saying that you should love the Lord your God with all your heart, soul and mind. And he didn't stop there. He also quoted Leviticus 19, 18, love your neighbor as yourself. Jesus knew that we humans cannot love in an isolated relationship. We cannot love God and despise people who are created in God's image. In fact, the clearest way that we can show our love for God is to love one another. And how do we do, how do we as God's people love? By coming again and again to God in prayer and learning from His Word. In the Bible, we discover God's character and guided by the Holy Spirit, we can show by our words and our actions what we have learned in, about God's love. Jesus also explained that if we are worshipping God and we seek Him and we do His will, we remember that there is something that the Lord Jesus will pour out upon us. He will pour out the anointing of the Holy Spirit. Remember that we should try to find forgiveness and reconciliation no matter who the person is or no matter how deep the situation is. You and I will be in the right place for loving God with all our heart, with all our soul and with all our mind. Reconciliation provides justification for He made Him who knew no sin for us that we might become the righteousness of God. The Lord Jesus, who knew no sin, was made to taste sin for us so that we become the righteousness of God. Because a believer, you and I, have a right standing before God, we can have a wonderful and new relationship with God. The Apostle Paul tells the believers that we are ambassadors of Christ and commissions us to be people who are reconciled to God. This is our mission and this is the mission of our church. Let us pray. Father, we thank you for the word, Lord. We thank you that you paid the price for us, that you reconciled us, that you tasted sin on our behalf, that you justified us, Lord, and now we stand in your presence, holy and righteous. We thank you, God, and help us to reconcile with people around us, to love them just as you have loved us. We thank you for enabling us to do this. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.